How's it going ladies and gentlemen? My name is Arthur and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing another one of these three free indie horror games you can find. And the first one here is called Hellingly Hill and so we're going to go ahead and check this out. I'm using a new camera so I'm, I'm still getting the, the settings right. It's a DSLR instead of a webcam so we're going to see how this goes. Anyway, let's play horror. Oh, they got an options menu. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, let's play. Hellingly Hill. Press tab to open inventory. Chapter 1. Okay. Alright, so we're in. The sensitivity is really high. There we go. Welcome to Hellingly Hill, everybody. Q to examine? Lies. I did not want to do it, sorry. Okay. What's going on in Hellingly Hill, man? Why are we here? This place is old timey, man. You got a well and everything? Let's peek through the windows. What do we got? Oh, we got blood on the walls. Super spooky. <laughs> okay, so this game is made in Unity. Oh! Oh yes, Papa, please! We don't even need a tool to take those off. No crowbar required. Got a truck? Okay, you know what? Let's stop mucking around and just go on in to the spooky house. Finally here. I didn't expect any lights to be on. What do you mean? There are no lights on, man. Oh, there we go. Yes, queen. We got lies again. I didn't want to do it, sorry. So they just reused an asset, it seems. Okay. Let's use the telephone. Nothing, huh? Okay. What is this? We got petrol oil. Sure, let's take it. Door must be jammed. Or seems to be jammed. Okay. Seems something is blocking it on the other side. Let's go upstairs. It's super spooky and dark. Oh, here we go. Can we have this? Locked. Must be a key around here somewhere. Yeah, if I could freaking see. Who, who builds a staircase to a wall? I don't understand. Okay, so there must be a key around here. Right, Grandma? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, what is there to do? Oh, here we go. Yes. Throw that shit. Going through their events, we're just breaking and entering. <laughs> like a good Samaritan. Get this shit out of here. I don't want to see it. Is there someone else in the house? I don't know. Got some lockers in here though, don't know why. Door handle is broken, is it? Can I just use the door from here? Oh, it's jammed, gotta get rid of all this crap. There we go. Dude, your house is freaking empty! It's got some blood stains, but I mean, come on now. You found a mansion key. Oh, dude, this feels a lot like, uh, RE7. Because, like, the pickup icon was, like, that arrow. Okay. Wait, no way. Are you kidding me? Okay, so how I knew the code was uh, because I've seen that main menu before and so I, I played a game a while back where it used this pin pad and it's the same code so I didn't even need to go and find it and find the spooks but we're gonna go find the spooks because that's cheating I can't just dude you got some f I like how you built a fence but it only goes so far why Ooh, this is the window we looked through. Super spooky. And then this just leads back to the front door. Why? Oh, because we got the key. Okay. 
Got the freaking key, man. I'm smart. Let's open this door. Oh, it's jammed. Excuse me. Let's go up this door then. Ooh. <laughs> I was just about to ask, hello, Mr. Spookman, you there? Where'd he go? Oh, he's so freaking cute. Come here. Come here. I like that. Let's go around. Let's go waddle on over here. This place is freaking empty. Can I have a flashlight, please? Those are typically useful items. Dude, again, a hallway leading to nothing. Why? I don't fully understand. But yeah, I've, I've seen this asset pack used. I don't know what it's called. But it's on the Unity store. Ooh, got a handprint. Can I open? No. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, give Papa the weapons. Yes. This is definitely not Resident Evil 7. What do we got in there? Got a wind-up box or something. Let's read the note. Please do not release the creature. I've definitely seen this. this see, this is why I knew the code. It was, what, 4928? I've seen this before. It's a, I get a strange feeling by this door. Can we ride the pony? Can we walk through it? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay. All right, spooks. I'm ready for you. We already opened the door. So we just gotta go down there. Because I already knew the code, again. Oh my goodness. Okay. And this is a top rated game, by the way. What is he doing? Are you okay? He doesn't really seem to be phased by this. Oh, there you go. Hey, we killed the boss. Oh no, the uh, the fence is freaking out a little bit because he overlapped the the texture. By the way, um, okay, just an empty void. Gotcha. Is there anything else for us to do here? Nope, I'm stuck now. Well, they said it was a demo and it wasn't complete, so there's no ending. So I guess this was it. And oh, there we go. Um, I don't. Really understand? Maybe we can go through here now? No, because it's broken, that's right. Uh, this place seems very empty though. Can we just leave? Is that a thing we can do? I can't leave yet, need to look for my sister. Is that why we're here? Did you just casually come in and then padlock the, the gate behind you? And again, they have this nice wall going all the way around and then it just stops. <laughs> okay, well that seems like this was this was it for our... Oh, the well isn't even a well. Awesome. Okay. Well, that was great. On to the next game. Okay, so this next game is called Mom. Um don't know much about it. So let's just play. We play as the little boy, little kid. And my god, is the frame rate awful. Ooh, that frame rate. Oh, mother. Where art thou? Oh, yes. Oh, speedy boy. Speedy Gonzalez over here. Look at that frame rate. 20 frames a second. Oh, that's not mom. That's not mom. I don't trust that shit. Oh, okay, so we're in, like, a grocery store. Is it following me? What is that? Oh, I don't like it. It has a heartbeat, man. We're running. We're out. We outie. So I guess we play as a kid, right? I would assume. And so we gotta find, uh, Mama. Through this nauseating frame rate. Uh, okay. Oh, mother. 
Can I have this toy? Oh, mom. Mom. Mom, no, come back. Oh, Jesus. Hey, I did it. I guess it's just on a loop? Okay. So, now we're going to see what happens if we get caught by Mr. Redman. Oh, there she is right there! She's just chilling in the back, man! Alright, let's find the red ball. I really don't get the, 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 like, the spirit symbolism. I suppose that's what it is. Why is this place falling apart? This game feels a lot like it's supposed to be like Among the Sleep. Or something similar. Oh, I broke your game. I broke it. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Mr. Red Ball. How you doing? Can't catch me from up here, can you? <laughs> Dude, this place is huge, too. It just tanks the frame rate. But I'm, I'm definitely not supposed to be up here, I don't think. <laughs> uh, I definitely don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Wait, so whenever I go up there, does it lose me or something? Oh, no, there it comes. Hi. Hello. I know that sound effect. I've used that sound effect. Okay, well, that was great. <laughs> uh, fun time with mom. All right, so because that one was so short, I'm gonna add one more onto here. And this one is called A Knight's Fee. Uh, another free game where you play as a knight, I suppose, going into battle because you attack and shield. Um, okay, so I, I guess I get it. Let's just start. 1336 AD. Oh, heck yeah, this is my kind of game, bro. Here we freaking go. Charge, you got it, buddy. I'm a freaking knight? This is supposed to be a horror game? I don't get it. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out. Goodness. Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness. The heck is happening, man? Oh, this is epic. Yes. That is awesome. That is so cool. And the game just restarts. I get it, the knight's fee. It's like, so no matter what, you're gonna die. I, I like this one. It's short. It's super short, but I like it. I want to see how far I can get. Because those, like, horseback riding guys really mess me up. <laughs> Sorry. But I love the sound effects. I love how you can just instantly murder them. Super cool. I like this. All right, boys, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. I love that. Oh my goodness, what? I get it. 
Okay, so I just gotta be on guard. Ooh! Cause they got like cannons and shit. Well, not cannons, but like, you know. Martyrs or whatever. Like they're throwing rocks. So I'm just gonna like sidestep out of the way so I can't get hit. I hear them. Here they come. Got them. Let's go, boys. Oh, you ran me over. Jeez, they're freaking everywhere. Let's go. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. <laughs> I'm King Arthur. You can't beat me. Let's go. I am the king. I'm the queen. But if I just keep running forward, do they ever, like, catch up? Because I'm just gonna, like, keep running forward and, like, sidestepping. See, I don't think they can catch up. Oh, there's an edge! There's an edge of the map! There's an edge! Okay, that's cool. I really like that idea. Oh! Okay. My freaking arm's gone, man. But we freaking survived. Yes. We did it. All right, everybody. There you guys have it. That was another few uh, free indie horror games you can find. A link to every one of them will be down in the description. Uh, the first two were stinkers. The mom one was short and weird. And then the night... A Knight's Fee is by far my favorite one. I don't see the horror element, but it does have like some spooky atmosphere. And I think that was really cool. And I guess because I survived so long, I got that little cutscene at the end. But I really enjoyed that game, the uh, A Knight's Fee. That was really, really cool. Uh, in this video, I was also testing out my new camera. Uh, hopefully it did well. I was keeping an eye on it the entire time. It's higher quality, all that sort of stuff. Colors are better. So hopefully that turns out well in editing. So. But thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel to become a knight of the round table today. And also follow me on uh, Facebook, Discord, all that sort of stuff, whatever. And as always, I will see you guys later.